Graven's Corner. This week, Grammar Rain Glamour Magazine. Taylor Swift happens to grace the cover this week. You know, I see her nipples. Tweak, tweak. I wish, huh? Well, this week, we're going to be reading about his name, Body Quirks Explained. Uh, so he's got a crooked penis. You know, penis is supposed to be a precise measurement of measure. Uh, many men have a curve in one direction or the other, you know? Shit happens. If he does, you know, he may be suffering from Byroni's disease. You know, there's a slight, it's a condition, you know, it's a fucking disease. It's a slight swarp, a swarp in his penis. Fuck me. Uh, condition which scarring on one side of the penis, uh, 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 may cause a slight warping effect. I fucking said that already. What the fuck? Uh, when it wrecked. It's when it's erect. Fucking penis is erect. It gets warped. Uh, relax. It shouldn't affect you. I mean, uh, you know, just take things slow and sex. Because this will pain him. He will be pained. <laughs> you remember. Alright. For our second story today. So, he has a third nipple. Yeah, they exist. But most of the time, their nipples are barely noticeable. I mean, it usually look like a mole sitting there next to his fully developed brother nipple. You know? Uh, it's probably a throwback to our evolutionary past ancestors. Uh, it's likely to be not be sensitive. It's unlikely to be sensitive. I'm fucking sorry. Uh, our advice for you, intrepid sexual explorer, <laughs> just ignore it. Just ignore it. Oh, welcome back. Let's go to our third story. So he's got a uniball. You know, having one is more common than you might imagine. Uh, an undescended testicle, as it's called, um, occurs in about 3% of newborns. It doesn't drop on its own. Uh, most babies get surgery before the age of one. Into its rightful place. You know, they bring it down to its rightful place. But some never do. You know? And uh, others lose one of their beloveds to testicular cancer. <sighs> um, well, don't worry. In terms of sex, performance, and fertility, uh, one, one is more than enough. Uh, you know, just treat it as you know, differently than you're, uh, you would have set. One set of testicles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, for our final story today. So I guess it's a good sound of penis. But then you cause to do a sharpened pencil. Shopping pencil, penis, shopping pencil, penis. Get it? Uh, there should be nothing to learn about penis all natural. Some studies showing on secret side people might give you an STD. Like AIDS, the clap, the drip, circumcise. <laughs> uh, but many men and women are get the fork and enhance the sexual pleasure. Uh, and then there are those who think that there's no big difference. Ultimately, you want to be a comfortable man, comfortable in his skin. Or like there. Oof. Oh, whatever. Yeah, it looks like. Put a condom on it. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> Put a condom. <laughs> when you do it. Uncircumcised penis. Uh, for those of you who are accustomed to a sharp pencil, uh, there should be nothing alarming about a penis au naturel. 
Uh, so, so fan of Secret Side Guys, would like to give you an STD. Like AIDS, the clap, herpes, the drip. Uh, you know, but many men and women are yet foreskin sexual pleasure, you know, enhances it. Pleasure, sexual. And then there are those who uh, think that there's no big difference. Ultimately, you want to be with a man that's comfortable in his skin, or lack thereof. And whatever. It looks like a condom. <laughs> Put it on it. <laughs> this man looks like a condom. Put it on your penis. <laughs> you know, whatever works. Just put a bag on there. Trash bag. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Penis cold, hard. Penis. 